Does that make sense? Because sitting around hoping is not a strategy and you wouldn't be here if that was your mindset. So I really honor you for being here. You're extraordinary people and I don't say that lightly. I feel like we're brothers and sisters here. So I know what we can do because we did this. We decided to do this back in July because everybody's there and I thought, how can I help? Well, we're going to go online and do it. So we did it here. You're in my little basement here. But after we did this, I, my brain started going. It's like, I, I don't want to do things like this. I want to make this like a live event. I'm used to having 12, 15, 20,000 people in a stadium and rock and roll music and people going for 12, 14 hours a day out of their mind. And I was like, I can never do that in people's homes. But we did this, even the short format, I got ideas. And I was like, okay, I just need to bring some technology to this. I need to change it. So we can show you, we built this incredible stadium. The only reason we're not there right now is I just upgraded it. So. I'm literally back in my basement while they build it for my next event. But we literally have 20 foot high ceilings, you know, 50 feet wide, 180 degrees around me on both sides. And I can see everybody clearly and bring you close and have the conversations with you. And people have an app where they can click on. Some of you have it. I know it's from the Zoom people. That's where you're hearing some of the clapping and laughter. You push that button, it sends a signal here and makes the sound. So we have interactivity. And now we've done more events. I've had people literally that have wanted to do a seminar with me forever that haven't been able to that now can do it from the privilege of the home. They have to leave their children. They don't have to drive to fly to another country. They don't have to play for a hotel. And so now, out of this horrible experience of COVID, not all my companies are perfect. They're all growing. We're all finding solutions. But the mission that I'm in, I'm able to do and serve. So I just want you to know, this week is for you. And we're going to do whatever it takes. And I'm going to go about two hours to two and a half hours a day. I sit an hour and a half. I rarely do that. You have to understand, I normally don't go less than 50 hours. And I'm not here to do the minimum for you. So you can stick around, I hope, for all of it. And those of you on Zoom, of course, afterwards, I'm going to do one-on-one Q&A with you as well. So we'll go a little bit later for that as well. But I want you to know this week can be a creator of momentum. Like momentum, it's like it takes more energy to get out of the Earth's atmosphere with a rocket. Then once they're out of the atmosphere, it takes one one hundred that energy to get out of a solar system. Like you see a sports team and they get momentum and they start to dominate. If you learn how to change momentum, you can change anything. So let's start with what are we going to start with? Energy. Energy is the single most important thing. How many of you out there have your own business? Raise your hand if you own your own business so I can get a sense. In, in darkness, which will not last because... this dark times never last there is embrace that darkness and in those moments then when you can actually just embrace it and accept it jitsu and with sun and with laughter and good one thing.
and it isn't 10 things and it isn't 100 things. It isn't a quick path and there are no shortcuts. Getting better isn't a hack or a trick or a one change that you need to make. Getting better is a campaign. It's a campaign. It's a daily, a weekly, it's an hourly fight. An excessive fight that doesn't stop against weakness and against temptation and against laziness. It's a campaign of discipline. It's a campaign of hard work and dedication. It's waking up early and going to bed late and grinding out every second in between. Every single day. 